In the fast-paced, ever-connected digital age of 2024, where the latest technologies are constantly emerging, there is this growing sense of nostalgia. For the simpler, seemingly more authentic, you know, 1980s, the sentiment is particularly prevalent among those who identify with my generation, the Gen X demographic. The wave of this nostalgia have swelled, fueled by this yearning for a time when things seemed less complicated and more straightforward. I mean, there is a longing for the analog experience of the past, which were once taken for granted and now feel like cherished memories. Today's landscape, with its rapid pace of change, can leave even the most adaptable of us feeling kind of disoriented. Now, the constant barrage of information, it can definitely be overwhelming, and the never-ending cycle of updates and upgrades, I mean, man, that's just exhausting. Now, in this context, the nostalgia for, you know, the 80s feels especially poignant. I mean, as it represents a simpler time when life moved at a slower pace and people had more time to connect with each other and the world around them. Now, the way we consume music has undergone a significant transformation over the years. I mean, while digital streaming services have made music more accessible than ever before, I mean, there's definitely been this recent resurgence in the popularity of vinyl records and cassette tapes. Now, this trend, previously seen only in the niche markets of them hipsters, you know, is not just a passing fad, but rather a desire for a more tangible connection to music. In the 1980s, music was an experience that required physical interaction to create a personal bond with the music. Listening to music was not a passive activity. It was an active, immersive experience. Dropping the needle on a record, rewinding a few cassette tapes to hear a particular song, and flipping the record over to listen to the B-side all required this physical connection that made the music much more real and personal. However, in today's world of streaming services, while they offer instant gratification and vast libraries, the ritual of listening and the anticipation of waiting for a beloved album to drop has been lost in this sea of endless content. I mean, the convenience of streaming music has come at the cost of a more personal and intimate connection. So in conclusion, the recent resurgence of vinyl records and cassette tapes is not just a trend, but a reflection of our yearning for a more personal, intangible connection to the music. Now, over the years, social interactions have undergone a drastic transformation. I mean, before in our time, people would commonly engage in face-to-face -face interactions, and we formed friendships through activities such as playing in the playground, going to the arcade, sharing mixtapes with someone. However, the digital age has brought about a significant change in the way people socialize. I mean, we fast forward to 2024, and it's evident that the digital world has redefined the concept of socializing. Social media platforms have promised to keep people connected regardless of their physical location. But I mean, studies have shown that these platforms often lead to feelings of loneliness and inadequacy. I mean, the spontaneous conversations and serendipitous encounters of the past have given way to meticulously curated digital personas, where individuals often measure their worth in the terms of the number of likes and followers they receive. So in today's world, people tend to spend more time engaging with others through digital means rather than face-to-face -face interactions. Now this shift, it has definitely resulted in a loss of genuine human connection. And it has made it more challenging for individuals to develop authentic relationships. I mean, the rise of social media influencers and celebrities has also contributed to the creation of these unrealistic standards and expectations, I mean, leading to the feelings of an inadequacy and low self-esteem. So I'd like to say while social media has brought about several positive changes, it has also brought a set of new challenges that we must navigate. It's essential to strike this balance between digital and physical interactions to maintain that genuine human connection and lead a fulfilling life. Also, over the years, the entertainment industry has undergone significant changes. I mean, with the rise of streaming services, it has experienced a massive shift. I mean, the streaming services have provided us with an abundance of on-demand content, most definitely, making it easier for people to access their favorite TV shows, movies, you know, documentaries from anywhere at any time. However, this has led to a significant change in the way we consume entertainment and has created a shift in the way we experience it. In the past, people eagerly awaited the weekly episode of their favorite TV show or the premiere of a blockbuster movie. These events brought people together and created shared experiences that became the talk of the water cooler the next day or out in the playground or in the lockers at the hallway. I mean, it was a communal experience that helped build a sense of community and shared culture. However, the release of full seasons and simultaneous premieres of movies in theaters and on streaming platforms have made it difficult for any one piece of content 
and become a cultural touchstone in the way that they once did. While it has made it easier for people to access and watch content, it has also fragmented the communal aspect of entertainment. I mean, making it harder for people to build a sense of community around a particular show or movie. As a result, the way we experience and talk about entertainment has changed. Instead of discussing the latest episode of a TV show or a blockbuster movie, we now discuss the latest series that we have binged or the latest movie we watched on a streaming platform. The communal aspect of entertainment has shifted, and we are left wondering what the future of entertainment holds for us. Now, the 21st century has brought about incredible advancements in technology, healthcare, global connectivity, which have made the world a better place in many ways. Absolutely. However, as we face the challenge of climate change and stand on the verge of an AI revolution, Gen Xers tend to yearn for the simplicity and authenticity of the earlier time of the 80s. But during that time, the world felt slower, less complicated, more connected. The 80s hold a special appeal that goes beyond mere nostalgia. I mean, while some may view that era through rose-tinted glasses, it serves a reminder of the value of personal connection, of tangible experiences over digital ones, and of the simple pleasures that can bring us joy. I mean, in a world that is always looking ahead, it is definitely wise to occasionally glance back and appreciate the lessons of the past. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is Drax saying until next time, stay safe and peace out, everyone.